Alright, so uh, I'm going to show you some zombie weapons, you know, stuff like that, so I can bash them in good. Uh, start with the most common thing, flashlight. It is a good tool, it's a must have, especially when you're in the dark, which inevitably will happen, because the sun sets every night. Um, it, it's a pretty poor weapon, but it's better than your fists, obviously as most things are. Uh, a crowbar or a mini crowbar like this. Uh, it's, you can get into doors quick, you know, break through windows. It's a, it's a sucky weapon, but as I said, it's better than your fists. Um, this here, uh, you know, if you had like a replica sword in your house, uh, probably not the best, but a lot of people have them. I know like or have my friends have so many swords. It won't, won't be good, but uh, you just, it's good for, you know, stabbing them and slowing them down or like, cutting their legs so they can't walk. Um, this, a little heavier, it'll have a little more impact, uh, a little bit better, but still horrible. So, uh, yeah. But you probably should have this. You should probably have one of everything here, you know, because all useful in their own way. This. This wood cutting axe. Unless unless you have good strength in your arms and in your chest and in your stomach, you you really you really shouldn't use this for killing zombies. Cause when you swing in like this, it's it's slow and it's clumsy and you know and unless you hold it like this, which brings you way too close to the zombies. So, uh, it pr probably goes from, uh, bad, a little bit better, a little bit worse, and a lot of people think, oh, sledgehammer, cool, you could bash any zombie's head in. Really, you could swing this once, and then, and then it'd crash into the ground, and then you'd have to hoist it up again, and then you have to swing it again, and then you have to pick it up again, and then probably break, and then you'd be zombies too, for sure. And then, this, this, if you're gonna live, you need one of these. Preferably several. Guns. Preferably shotguns, snipers, pistols. Uh, guns should be really easy to get. Uh, you don't need permits for them, you don't need anything for them, you need 18 or 21, depending on what kind. But, uh, you want buckshot in this one. Probably not slugs unless you have, like, a semi-auto or something. And a sniper rifle. If you don't want to get close to them, you don't want to get bloody, this is it. Sniper rifle. This here is a 300 Winchester short mag. It will uh, kill a moose. Satisfac satisfactory for killing a zombie as well. So, uh, if you're not a big hunter or anything, if you don't know how to shoot guns, you better learn real quick if the zombie apocalypse happens there. You're going to be dead. Alright, one last thing machete. In infamous zombie killing weapon. It's quick. If you get the right one, it'll last for a while. Uh, this one's got double edge, so uh, you can kind of hack and slash, kind of a combination of the two. You no, know, it's quick. You know, five-year-old could use it probably if you need to. And then one last thing. I sound ridiculous, but uh, any type of mask or goggles or something because. If you're sitting there hacking zombies and blood's getting in your eye, you know, especially if, if you know, you get infected if, if you know, you, you eat the blood or whatever. But also because, you know, kind of ruin your day if you got blood in your eye and then a zombie ate your brain because you couldn't see them. Uh, I mean, you don't need it to be super, super anything or anything. Can't get out of here. Um,